Hello friends. So in previous lecture we discussed about Khosla theory. Clear? Then in this lecture we discuss about the cases of Khosla theory. So first of all there are three types of cases in Khosla theory. Clear? So there are Khosla specific cases that called Khosla specific cases. So first one, straight horizontal floor of negligible thickness with pi either at upstream and downstream means the floor is given and the thickness is very negligible means minimum and the pi is provided both side means upstream side as well as downstream side the second one same straight horizontal floor with same thickness means negligible thickness but pi at some intermediate point means intermediate distance clear not upstream and downstream but intermediate distance or point then third one same straight horizontal flow depressed below the bed but no cutoff clear so third case there are no cutoff is provided simple horizontal flow is given but below the bed so there are the three points then first case case one the pile at some intermediate point means middle point or not upstream and downstream clear so that called intermediate point so there are three key points that call EDC. So how can you find uplift pressure at these three points? So that called PE, PD, PC. There are three formula which is given by Khosla theory. So for intermediate pile, so this diagram is given that pile is provided at intermediate point. Clear, not a downstream side, but intermediate point. So there are three points EDC. So that point we will find out the uplift pressure of so then this is the formula which is directly given by Khosla clear so that PE is equals to h upon pi cos inverse lambda 1 minus 1 divided by lambda clear and how can you find phi E phi E is a constant so phi E is equals to PE divided by h clear so 100 upon pi cos inverse lambda 1 minus 1 divided by lambda. So this is a formula for PE. Same as formula for PD. H upon pi as it is cos inverse lambda 1 divided by lambda. And for PC. H upon pi cos inverse lambda 1 plus 1 divided by lambda. So this is a basic difference. In PE lambda 1 minus 1. PD only lambda 1. PC lambda 1 plus 1. Clear. So there are three key points that call PE, PD, PC. Then, so we have lambda, lambda one. So how can you find lambda or lambda one? So this is the formula for lambda and for lambda one. So lambda is equals to under root one plus alpha one square plus one under root one plus alpha two square divided by two. So same is the formula for lambda one, but the positive will be changed in lambda one is equals to minus. The formula is under root 1 plus alpha 1 square minus under root 1 plus alpha 2 square divided by d. How can you find alpha? Alpha is equals to b1 divided by d. Alpha 2 is equals to b2 divided by d. So what is a b1, b2? b1 means b means baseline. So this is a b1, clear. Like e2 upstream point, upstream point to e, that distance called b1. And if you have b means 50 and you have b1 is equals to 30 so 50 minus 30 is equals to 20 so that call b2 clear remember this uh, funda so in example first of all you find alpha then after lambda then after you find out constant phi e phi d phi c then after find you find out p e p d p c clear this is a, a method of find out uplift pressure this is first case of intermediate pile and then second one pile at a downstream end clear so in this case the pile is provided at which side downstream side means exit point again there are three point e d c clear but when the pile is provided at the downstream side so the point c point so the pressure acting at the uplift pressure acting at a C point is equals to zero. So PC is equals to zero in all downstream cases. Clear? Please remember that. 
तो अगेन देर आर फॉर्मूला फॉर पीई एच अपॉन पाई कॉस इनवर्स लेमड़ा डिवाइड लेमड़ा माइनस टू डिवाइड बाई ले फॉर पी डी एच अपन पाई कॉस इनवर्स लेमड़ा माइनस वन डिवाइड बाई ले फॉर पी सी एच अपन पाई कॉस इनवर्स लेमड़ा डिवाइड बाई लेमड़ा सी इज इक्वल टू जीरो क्लियर and how can you find the lambda is equals to 1 plus under root 1 plus alpha square divided by 2 and alpha is equals to same d by clear so this is the formula to find out p e p d at downstream cases clear but you cannot find out p c in downstream section because p c is zero clear means uplift pressure at a c point is zero then so when the example is given like that to find out uplift pressure at a downstream cut off or downstream pile so you first of all find out alpha then after lambda then after pe then after pd here so this is a method to find out downstream case and this is a very important formula because in uh, exam the most important case is for exam or gtu exam this is a downstream case and upstream case clear please remember that and this is a formula it is directly given there are no any proof there are no any evidence about how can you get this formula clear so please remember this formula then third case so what is the third case obviously the uh, upstream section so pile at provide upstream and again there are three point e d c clear but the e point e point is acting on head side so p is equals to always h h means head Clear. Remember this or thing or notations. P E is equal to means pressure at E point. Uplift pressure at E point is equal to head of the section or head of the beam. Clear. So again, P E one is equal to H. P D is equal to H upon pi cos inverse one minus lambda divided by lambda. P C equal to H upon pi cos inverse two minus lambda divided by lambda. Clear. This is the formula for upstream section. So this is a case to find out uplift pressure at various point like the upstream point, downstream point, and intermediate point. The next we go to exit gradient. So what is the exit gradient? Gradient means you know that slope. So the slope is provided at the exit point that called exit gradient, which is denoted by G. Clear? This is the formula, and Kosla derives of an expression which is G E equals to H upon D one upon pi under root lambda. So this is the formula to find out exit gradient. So how can you find out lambda? Obviously, same method as before is equals to lambda is equals to one plus under root one plus alpha square divided by two. But which alpha you will we will we will use is equals to downstream side clear at its exit point. So alpha is equals to d by clear. Please remember the formula, which is very important to find out exit gradient at exit. Clear. So if there are no cutoff is provided at the downstream section, so higher gra exit gradient will exist. So this is the main reason or main causes of failure of wear or tear. You remember that exit gradient is very important to design wear or barrage. Then next one, safe exit gradient. So what is the safe exit gradient? Clear. It means the exit gradient which which below the critical hydraulic gradient means the exit gradient is always less than critical hydraulic gradient. So it means. Uh, It is one type of hydraulic radiator at which soil particles will be lifted up means below the sorry above the ground and which particles soil particles will be lifted up and which lead to undermine means at which gradient or at which slope soil particle or we can say that undermining occurs that called safe exit gradient. Done. So we move. So for alluvial soil, for alluvial soil, critical hydraulic gradient is always one. Please remember that there are three types of soil: fine sand, coarse sand, and shingle. Clear. The exit gradient is given. Next one: method of independent variance. So.
so what is the method of independent variable this topic we will discuss in next session clear but in this session the most important thing is to remember this three cases formula to solve out example clear so there are two cases is given like when in example they ask or they give downstream pipe so you can consider second or uh, second case which is downstream case but in some cases both side pile is given so you can calculate as per the case 2 and as per the case 3 clear so first of all whichever whichever you like downstream section then second we go to upstream section clear and in the some example only upstream section is given then so please remember that formula and which is very important to solve out any example which is in fourth chapter and there are some combinations of formula uh, or example they ask calculate uplift pressure and again they ask what is the thickness or what is the criteria of thickness means in example thickness is given 1 meter but we already studied p is equals to 4 by 3 h upon g minus 1 clear so when we put h equals to uplift pressure so we can find out thickness which is required for the wear or barrage to resist uplift pressure like we provided 2 meter thickness in barrage clear or in wear but we uh, get the thickness by this formula t equals to 4 by 3 h upon g minus 1 which is equals to 2.4 clear so the provided the provided thickness which is 2 meter but as per the design which is 2.4 meter so the dam or so the weir or barrage will be failed clear so the thickness which is always less than the design thickness clear so how can you find out so if this is a formula which is equals to t equals to 4 by 3 h upon g minus 1 but small h equals to uplift pressure means the height clear and g means specific gravity so by this you can easily solve the example and the next one in some example they also ask how to calculate exit gradient so in this formula we can consider capital h equals to h d means depth and lambda we can easily find out for downstream section clear please do not calculate lambda as for the upstream section because the formula is exit gradient means the slope is provided at the downstream side clear so you always take alpha from downstream section clear and next lecture we discuss about some correction the correction about thickness clear correction about slope and correction about interference of mutual pipe so there are three correction we will discuss in next session clear thank you thank you for attention